in tonight with in-depth coverage of a live pinpoint Doppler 12 weather alert. Right now, much of southern New England is still reeling from the effects of torrential rainfall. And now a flood watch remains in effect for Washington County. And flood warnings are in effect for both the Patuxent and Pocatuck rivers. And take a look at this video from Situate Avenue in Cranston, where drivers insisted on trying their luck today through several inches of sitting water, making the roadway nearly impassable. And check out this scene at Fall River, where the abundance of rain overwhelmed this manhole cover near Davall Street, causing it to nearly bubble over. And take a look at this photo of a completely flooded out Little League field in Hope Valley. It was sent in by Peter Harrison. It's just one of many dramatic pictures and videos we've gotten today from our Eyewitness News viewers. And as you can see from live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar, we are still tracking precipitation across our area. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lance is standing by with a closer look at some of today's flooding. But our in-depth coverage begins tonight with meteorologist Pete Mangione. Pete. Hey, Kelly, it's such a crazy morning earlier. We had uh, so many flood reports. I haven't seen a list like that in a long, long time, listing all the locations of the different streets and intersections that were underwater. Now, let's stay on the topic of Hope Valley. That's an area which right now is seeing some more rain showers, and some of these could be heavy moving through, and this will be an issue here for the next several hours with those areas which saw some flooding earlier, seeing a repeat of the flooding. And keep in mind, it's not going to take as much rain to do it this time because much of the ground is already saturated. We have some of those streams which are swollen and uh, again the ground very wet out there. You could see some more specks of yellow moving into places like uh, Kingston approaching Newport Jamestown and into Fall River. We could also see some more showers return where we had some uh, flooding problems earlier. All right, let's take a look at the latest watches and warnings. This can get a little confusing, so we'll break it down quickly here. Flood advisory, this is pretty much for everybody until 745 this evening. Again, that's those areas which flooded earlier may see some more rain and downpours, and that could lead to some repeat flooding, so be mindful of that. The Patuxent River here in Cranston already at minor flood stage, expected to crest this evening and then fall below flood stage, potentially not until Tuesday. And then, of course, we're watching the Pocatuck River for two areas, Wood River Junction in Washington County and also westerly. Much more information on the weather forecast. Also, some amazing rain totals from earlier this morning. I will post those coming up in just a few minutes. All right, Pete, thanks. Today's flooding is taking its toll on many of the usual trouble spots, including here on Fletcher Avenue in Cranston, where the road was shut down earlier today because of the heavy rain collecting in the street. And even though the bulk of the rain has passed, there's still some concern tonight for people who live and work along the rising Patuxent River. Our Pinpoint Weather Team coverage continues now from Cranston with Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lands. That's right. It's been a busy day for both residents and authorities. You can actually see this truck pulling through the water right now. This has been the repeat scene all day. Cars just trying their luck coming through the water here. The calls have come in about flooded basements and streets, including here on Fletcher Avenue in Cranston. There have been yellow cones set up to keep drivers away. But as we noticed all day, that has not always been the case. Eyewitness news cameras were rolling Sunday, capturing one driver after another on multiple Cranston streets, risking their safety by driving through these floodwaters. Some of those drivers chose not to speak with me on camera, but Israel D. Leone of Providence did. He obeyed the orange cones set up by police to keep him and his family riding with him safe. Every year it's kind of that problem. De Leon says he learned his lesson nearly two decades ago after he and his co workers were stranded driving through Fletcher Street. Yes, he go, yeah, I'm working over here in the place. You know, it's a long time, almost 18 years, something. A repeat scene here in Middletown where multiple streets were closed off. Dispatch responded to many calls of flooded basements and streets. Fire crews say they rescued a woman after driving her pickup truck into rising waters. Over on Berkeley Road, friends made light of the flooded streets. Well, we saw it was pretty flooded, so we wanted to make the most of the situation. Thought we'd have a little bit of fun kayaking down here. Maybe not as much fun for joggers at Slater Park in Pawtucket for the annual Kudu Memorial Road Race, a 5K that raises money to build a park in honor of firefighters. Back in Cranston, police kept busy monitoring the rushing waters on the Patuxent River. As for local drivers, it's business as usual. No, it's all the time, you know, that's all the, the problem.
and water started receiving, receding several hours ago. I want to show you these orange cones right here. Earlier today, the water went all the way up to that, but as of several hours ago, you can see it's coming much closer. And if you take a look down here at my feet, it's even lower than where the water was before. So we'll, of course, continue to keep monitoring the floodwaters out here in Cranston across the state. Reporting live from the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Shante Lands, Eyewitness News. The torrential rain is also causing headaches for people in southeastern Massachusetts. Take a look at this car stuck in a flooded section of Route 18 near downtown New Bedford. The heavily traveled highway was actually temporarily closed to traffic. And in Somerset, cars had no choice but to take it slow driving through flooded Lees River Road. One section was blocked off, causing some drivers to turn around. It was much of the same in Fall River, where the water created a whirlpool, whirlpool near Davall Street. Cars splashed through heavily flooded streets next to the Route 79 construction zone. Our Pinpoint Weather Team coverage continues now from Fall River with Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Adamson. It may be just a little rain for some people, but for folks here in Fall River, it's a big problem. Whenever it pours, flooding becomes a serious issue, as it did today for the residents I spoke with. Like a bubbling geyser, this manhole cover looks like it's ready to blow near Davall Streets. A downpour of rain turned this part of Fall River into a small lake. People here say they saw flooding like this all over the city this morning. It was like a running river at 7 o'clock down the sidewalk in the, in, the, in the road. It floods on Bay Street really bad. Water straight across the road, like a foot deep right through the woods and everything. David LaPointe lives on Spencer Street in a low-lying area of Fall River where it floods all the time. He wishes city crews would come around more often when it rains to help prevent these problems. Once in a while they'll come by and clean up the drains, but it's like that every time it rains hard. But Bay Street's Heidi DeMello believes there isn't much that can be done when it pours this hard. I don't think there's really anything they can do about it because the hills are so steep and the runoff is pretty quick. And while LaPointe doesn't like the flooding, he says it's just a part of living in Fall River. But deal with it. I've been there my whole life. I did speak with the Fall River Police Department and they did say they got a number of calls regarding the flooding, but that they're always prepared when it does rain like this. With the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News. From the Providence Mobile Newsroom now, a retaining wall collapses during today's heavy rain. Take a look at this scene from the backyard of a home on Barstow Street in Providence. You can see some of the debris that fell down the muddy hill, including a grill. We're told a car also slid down the slope and had to be towed out. The rain also keeping firefighters from removing this Jeep that got stuck in the river near Charles Street in Providence this morning. Firefighters said the car's owner accidentally backed the Jeep into the water this morning, then left without notifying police. Now, nobody was hurt. Firefighters say it's not safe to try to remove the vehicle until the water dies down. As we mentioned off the top, we've been inundated with photos and videos of today's flooding from our Eyewitness News viewers. Ben Phelps submitted this video through Report It, showing the playground at the Village Green in Peacedale now looking more like a water park. Flooding is not the only problem associated with the heavy rain. Shannon Moore sent in this photo of several trees that came down last night off Harkney Hill Road in Coventry. And Tim Vivero submitted this dramatic shot of a car trying to plow through a heavily flooded road in Dartmouth earlier today. Now, whenever you witness severe weather or breaking news, we want to see your photos and videos. You can submit them using the report it function on WPRI.com or simply email them to report it at WPRI.com. And count on Eyewitness News for continuing coverage of this live Pinpoint Joplin 12 weather alert. Pete's full fu future cast is still to come and we'll have updates later tonight on Fox Providence at 10 and 11 on WPRI 12. And you can also get weather updates around the clock at home or on the go on WPRI.com.